Congratulations to the inaugural graduating class of 2020 for our Masters of Science Sustainability Science program. Uh, you're not just scholars, but you're real pioneers, especially in the difficult circumstances we face today. This is really a new field that you've graduated into, and you really are at the vanguard of this. It'll be your field to define as you go off and do whatever what you wish to do, whatever enterprise you choose to join. But let me give you a few personal comments. I appreciate your willingness to be the first class. Obviously, um, you all took a chance, and that shows real legitimate courage. And I'm really gratified that you chose Columbia and our program uh, to take that chance. Um, in your courage, in your participation, you've affirmed the notion that this is an important field to study, that this is something that deserves your attention. I'm really sorry that you're graduating under these circumstances, that we can't be there in person to congratulate you, but your dedication is evident and I really commend it. You're part of a larger cohort of sustainability professionals. You'll be building new awareness. Uh, you'll be building new competencies. You'll be bringing a sense of sustainability uh, throughout the economy, throughout the nonprofit sector, wherever you end up. And that's what's really important. So I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of the of the dedication, the courage, your competence, your success, and I look forward to keeping in touch with you as you move ahead with your lives. Thanks very much, and good luck to you all. So sustainability means to me, I mean, I think on the like lowest level, it means changing our behaviors and our actions to ensure the survival of our community. Um, and I think, but I think that there is a kind of a balance in sustainability between uh, really holding yourself accountable and recognizing the systems that we are a part of that um, are inherently unsustainable. Um, so something like waste is, uh, I think, has not been handled sustainably in this country. Um, or really in the world so far, um, but it's something that we're pushing forward. So, you know, on an individual level, it means holding yourself responsible to um, separate your waste so that it can go to a place that can be processed um, and reused uh, instead of relying on mining for more resources or relying on fossil fuels for more resources. Um, but on a system level, it also means recognizing that you have to advocate for your city to have good waste systems. Uh, you have to think innovatively about how we can reuse our waste um, and also um, rely, uh, think differently about our waste. Um, for example, using the methane that comes from our compost uh, to power our buildings or um, using um, our compost to create green roofs that cool down um, our buildings and reduce our energy usage for them. So I think that sustainability um, in that process, it kind of comes at those two levels. One at the individual when you want to think about your community and how your actions impact the people around you, um, but also on a larger level of holding the people in charge accountable to um, stop relying, especially on fossil fuels and on wasteful, unsustainable um, processes that put us all in danger. We kind of started from the ground up uh, and developed a study, uh, a citizen science-based study, uh, to look at microplastics in the Hudson River. Um, and so what was exciting about that was um, really getting to uh, jump on board and look at microplastics from a bunch of different perspectives, something that's really critical to sustainability. It's not just 
what you read in the headline. It's um, actually looking into the science, looking into the data, looking into our history with plastics um, and seeing how we came to the problem that we're at now, which is that microplastics are in every water body that we've ever looked for them in. Um, and then also trying to find a way to bring that information to a form that's accessible to non-scientific and non-academic um, people. Um, and so we created our own methods. We, be, you know, innovative thought of innovatively. We tried to innovate uh, non-plastic ways of collecting, measuring, identifying uh, microplastics. We tried to identify uh, ways that we could reuse things, um, reuse materials that people have accessible to them. Um, and we went out there and collected our data and uh, came up with some really interesting information. So I think that that embodies sustainability because it's thinking about the way our um, things we use every day, which is plastic, um, can end up going through all these different cycles to uh, impact eventually the fish and fauna that are in the Hudson River um, and all the different people, ecosystems um, and environments in between. Um, and it's also kind of um, moving past the uh, just headlines or what people's first assumptions are about those things and actually looking into where these things come from, how they can be mitigated um, on a like science and data based level um, and really trying to figure out those solutions out for ourselves. Mm -hmm.